Hello everyone and welcome back! In the last lesson we have created a production version of our application and we have made it available here on port 4200. So we have here now the application up and running and we have started it with the command npm run start prod. Now what we're going to do is we are going to run our Cypress tests against it. We are going to open a second terminal and this time around instead of using the Cypress open task we're going to use the run task. So this is also going to run our Cypress integration tests but this time around this is not going to open a separate user interface instead we are going to get the results in the command line directly. Let's try this out. We are going to run the following command npm run cypress colon run so it's the run command this time around and not the open command. Let's have a look at the report produced. So as we can see the first step that Cypress does is to verify that there is indeed an application running on port 4200. So if by some reason your development server would be down then the tests would fail at this stage. Next we can see that we are running here the multiple specifications that we have available and we have here a Jasmine style report at the level of the command line and we can see that our two end to end tests are passing. So here is a final test report and as we can see all the specifications have been passed, everything was executed very quickly, only in 5 seconds and the process has exited. Now using two terminals is one way of running our integration tests but whenever we deep deploy our tests to a continuous integration server, we would like to have only one command to execute. We would like that command to do the following, to build our application in production mode, then we would like that command to start the application on this specific port and after that we would like only when the server is up and running so only when the server startup is completed would we then like to run cypress run against that instance of the server and get the test results. So what we're going to do next is to create here a new command that does exactly that. In order to make it easier to understand we're going to break this up into multiple steps so first we are going to create here a new command that is going to do a build in production mode and a start of our application server in production mode. So this is going to be called build and deploy colon prod. And let's see how can we run multiple tasks here in sequence. Together with all the dependencies that we have here in our package.json we have a package called npm run all and npm run all contains a binary called run s. This allows us to run things in sequence independently of the operating system. So if I would run here two commands like for example npm run and then let's say build colon prod and after that using this notation I would run here a second command npm run start prod well this would only work on Mac and Linux but not on Windows. On the other hand with this executable run s we can easily create scripts that are independent of the operating system. So we are going to run in sequence two tasks First we're going to run the build colon prod task to build our application in production mode and then once the build gets completed we are then going to start our application in production mode. The last step of this process is going to be to create here a command that we're going to call e 2 e standing for end to end that is going to do the following. This command is going to build and deploy our application in production mode then it's going to wait for the server to be available on port 4200 and only when the server is ready will we then run our tests. So it's very important to wait for the server to be ready before starting the tests because depending on your application the server might start in more or less time. This might also depend on the environment so we want to make sure that the server is ready before launching any tests. So in order to do this we are going to be using an npm package that you already have installed at this point and that you can find in your package.json. The name of the package is start server and test. 
So this command is specifically made to run a server, wait for it to be ready and only then start a test process and then exit once the tests are completed. So we're going to run here start server and test. We're going to pass in here the command that we want to execute build and deploy colon prod. We are now going to give it here an URL to the server. So this is the URL that the command is going to use to wait for the server to be ready. So in this case, our server is going to be available on port localhost 4200. And the last part is the test command. So here is the command that is going to start the server. Here is the location of the server once the server is ready. And here is the command that runs our tests, which in our case is Cypress colon run. So as we can see, we have composed here multiple NPM tasks together to build here a powerful command to run our integration tests in one go. Before deploying this to a continuous integration server, let's just try it locally to see how this works. We're going to make sure that we stop all the terminals that we are running in order to make sure that the port 4200 is clear. So before running this command, make sure that all the processes are stopped. Let's then run the following command, npm run end to end. So the first thing that this is going to do is to build our application in production mode as usual. So we can see here that ng build minus minus prod is running. After a moment, we're going to see that the build is completed and that the server is started here in production mode. After that, we can see that Cypress is now running. We can see in the terminal that we have here a mix between the Cypress log and the server log. This is normal. So when all the tests are completed, we get here a nice report in the command line. And we can also see that once the tests complete, the server process is then killed by our start server and test command. So this is again another very useful functionality of this command. Now that we have one single NPM command to run our integration tests, let's see how can we deploy them to a continuous integration server. We are going to be using Travis CI. 